We live in Madison, Wisconsin. We live with our two cats, Oliver and Sebastian. Our house is a cozy ranch style house. I really love our backyard. It's so spacious. We have a nice garden area, a few apple and pear trees, and a flower bed with all kinds of plants I've been slowly but surely working on building up. We also really love our den in the basement. We frequently have movie nights or we play board games down there. We frequently hang out together there with our friends and family as well. My chosen family is Alan and Karen. We can frequently be found going over to their house and enjoying meals with them or going out to eat. And we love to go to the farmer's market with them and just kind of seeing them frequently. And they're really excited to be grandparents. My family lives about an hour away from us, so we see them quite frequently. And we frequently have them over for board game days. We spend most holidays with them. My parents can't wait to have another grandchild in their life. We also recently got into travel. We've been to Florida a couple of times. We've been to Japan twice. We really hope to bring our future child with us on these adventures and expose them to all different kinds of languages, cultures, and cuisines. I've been in IT over 15 years. So when you're in the IT industry, you're always just learning something new. And I think that that's something that I really want to instill in my child is to kind of learn new things and never be afraid to try something new. I currently work as a dairy buyer for a local grocery store. I work a lot with local farmers here in Wisconsin. I think eating local and investing in local business is, is very important to us as a couple. Caleb loves to cook and is always cooking something up in the kitchen. Caleb speaks two languages fluently, Japanese and Mandarin. Katie really loves to read. Our built-in bookshelves are already full of books from both of us, but I'd say it's most, mostly Katie. <laughs> she frequently volunteers at local libraries, and when she's not reading, she can be found watching shows from different countries. We both really value education, and I hope to enroll our child in some sort of environment where they're able to be exposed to different languages and cultures. So I really feel that this broadens your perspective and helps you to grow into a more accepting and empathetic person. We both believe that differences should be celebrated and really hope that our future child feels proud of their, their background and their heritage. Caleb and I have always wanted to adopt. Even when we first started dating, like really early on, we had discussed adoption. I'd say within the first few months we dated, we started talking about how, if we wanted kids, know how would we want to grow our family. It's clear to both of us, we both really wanted to adopt kids. We've had friends who adopted from overseas, and we've also had friends who adopted domestically. Some of them have adopted outside of their race. And they've been really great resources for all of our questions around adoption. We want to present an adoption in an open and honest way and, and really honor our child's story and history. Caleb's just gonna make such a great dad. He's so caring and loving, and he has so much fun interacting with kids and just being goofy around them. They always kind of laugh and just have a good time. I think Katie's gonna be a great mom. She's always been like a reliable, steady person in my life. And I think that's gonna be a great quality for her as a mother, just to be that constant presence you know, that our child can rely on. Caleb and I can't wait to become parents. I'm really excited to grow our family with adoption and just being able to watch our kids grow up over time and develop their own interests. Bringing a child to our family is going to be really joyful for us and we can't wait to share our family and our love with our child.